this is Vignesh Kumar. Well, after a long time, I'll see you. In this video, I will explain how to compare the phase spectra which is the spectral library. Normally, the spectral libraries uh, classify as uh, ESGS, JPL, and JH. And in this video, I have uh, some field spectra. I already go into the field, you see. Just I will explain how to create your field spectra as a spectral library and how to compare that your speed spectra with the EAGS standard spectral library. Okay. Now first we open this NBIN classic and go to the spectral in the spectral spectral libraries. Go to the spectral library builder. Please select first input spectra and give OK. In this import. I have field spectra as a ASCII file for that reason I am giving this a ASCII file just load the field spectra details uh, where is it ah big news that thing already have this file oh sorry but it is not available in that ASCII file format but it's not a problem just give that import give that AST binary file. AST binary file is mainly used to, to store the spectral radiometer files. Uh, in this AST binary files, go to the D, we can use VAT and load the files, what else say. Huh. And give that as the default color to us, just give the flats. In this flats, you can able to see that one vegetation spectra is the in this vegetation spectra is the proposed Julie flora. The after that, lot of window spectra is this in this every window spectra. I am taken around that limestone field uh, limestone quarries in this limestone mineral area. You can able to see that in every mineral having the deep absorption around. 2300 nanometer hour. Okay, now we are going to compare. First, we are going to compare means we need to we need a base because in this field spectra, the spectral radiometer wave, wave uh, sorry, band interval is different. At the same time, your EAGS band interval is different. In our instrument, that AST spectral radiometer, that band interval is around 1 nanometer. At the same time, the UAGS spectral library, it has the band interval around 2.5 nanometer. For that reason, we need to compare both things mean. Definitely, we need one imagery file first. In this imagery file, this is a reflectance file. I am load my data, thermal valley disturb. It is flash file, uh, disturb reflectance. Yeah, just I give it. After that, file load true color. Okay, now true color is loaded. You can able to see that this is the vegetation field, and this is also a limestone areas. And one river path you can able to visit there. In this river path, it is the Pachaya River, and in this path, this is the Tamarabani River basin. And here also that mining areas are also available so heavily. Uh, okay, now I will explain how to do that. Before going to do any comparison, you must go to that spectral resampling techniques. The spectral resampling. What's the important mean? First, I will explain that. After that, I will do that spectral resampling. Give first to give the spectral analysis to compare that. UHG spectral library means in this UHG spectral library it is defaultly available. Uh, please load it at and just give OK. And this it will compare and it will give the probability score. And I will assign the weightages the three methods spectral angle mapper, spectral feature fitting, and binary encoding. And this in this three method in the spectral angle mapper follows the angle variation between the field spectra and referral spectra and spectral feature fitting for uh, follows the least square method and binary encoding convert the reference values as to 0 to 1 and compare it 
I just I will give that OK and give apply here and give that input one. Now we can able to see that in every file it will give the property score. It is same 1.75. So it's not a property score. It's a total property score of th all three methods. It's come one. It's come 0 0.167, 0 0.591. So it is totally wrong because every spectral it will not give the same result. Uh, just uh, you may give the double click also in the spectral reference uh, reference curve also it's not look like nice in this plot key you can able to see that it is geotide is that but you can't able to visibly because I already say that depends on this band interval that is the problem for that reason only we need to do that spectral reassembling first okay in the spectral reassembly I will explain how to do that so spectral spectral libraries spectral library assembly or spectral assembly anything you may take it and you may select your gs mineral and give that and input spectra and choose the output file here you your gs resampled and just give ok and here we need to give the reflectance file only ok just I will give ok uh, uh, one second I have official ah, now the EGS spectral libraries reassemble depends on the the flash atmospheric correction file as well as the reflectance file after that no need it uh, wait first uh, you may save your flat as your field spectra as your library just give select all and no need to select this wr wr is the calibration band and you ok and view the file it's a uh, field library i give After that, give open. I just give OK. Now close it. After that, go to that spectral. And in this spectral, just select the field library as input file and give OK. And input data file, just give the output file. Field, uh, field data is is angle and just give open give ok and this is also spread this reflectance and give ok ok after that just close that older ones uh, after that just go to the spectral library viewer uh, spectral library viewer just select your field data resemble as your input file because flat window it will not there now you can't able to compare anything uh, just for not to or enough maybe I will select number of things okay that's enough now after that go to that spectral spectral analysis select VAGS resemble the file as input and give ok and select the spectral angle mapper binary encoding is where it is assign your it is depends on your rs only it's not any criteria as there and just give ok now you can able to see that it is separate and uh, cast here some windows are classified where make light depends on the everything spectral library uh, compared with the UGS in that comparison it will give the various result as well as in the SAMSF of B as well as the various total score depends on the score level only we can able to choose that and here just give the double click it you can able to visit your GS spectra as well as your field spectra your G spectra is your white layer field spectra as well as your red color 
and you may give that flat key means you can able to see that one is your swing spectra and separate one dot is 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 spectra and how the correlation it is uh, actually it's not a correlation it's a spectral response probability curve that's it uh, after that depends on that score level only you can able to assign your n members finally you can able to classify your hyperion data using that n member spectra that's it thank you